Hello everyone, Rex here and welcome to my brand new Let's Play. It's the one you guys voted on. That's right. We're gonna go ahead and start Earthbound. The war against Gygus. Well, I mean, that's not an official subtitle in like the game's name or anything, but yeah, in this screen, that, that is its subtitle, I guess. Well. It doesn't really matter, but yeah, Earthbound. I have, of course, played another game in this series because in Japan, this series is known as the Mother series and Earthbound is Mother 2. Now, I have, of course, already played Mother 3 in the past and that is one of my favorite games of all time, but Earthbound, well, I have seen the end, but I've never played through it myself from start to finish. So. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start a new game. We'll do fast tech speed, stereo sound setting, that's fine. And uh, just like in Mother 3, you can choose the flavor of your windows. Plain looks all right. Uh, mint, I quite like mint. Strawberry is okay. I don't really like banana. It's a bit too bright for me. And peanut is a bit too meh. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with uh, mint flavor but if you guys want to see a different flavor for the window just let me know now just like in mother 3 we get to name or cost i will stick with the default names so this here is our little boy called ness uh, we have a girl her name is paula our friend here is called jeff and this other friend, well, his name is Pooh. Now we have a pet as well. And our pet dog is called King. That also works. Now, that's taking care of those things. Uh, now our favorite food. Uh, what are some default options? We have steak, pie, pasta, cake, eggs, bread, salmon. And that's about it. I don't think my actual favorite food would fit, which is the one that I used in Mother 3, which is schnitzel. Um, but let's see, I guess we could go for... Pizza. Pizza is pretty good. You guys like pizza, right? I like pizza. We'll go with pizza. And your favorite thing? Uh, this will uh, determine what your PSI attacks are called. Uh, now, I think I usually go with gaming. And I quite like that. Let's actually see. We have rockin', hammer, love, gifts, slime. Gaming is one of the default options. And that's kind of the option that I really like. So, I'm going to stick with that. Gaming. That's my favorite thing. So, this is our setup. I think. I'm sure. So, let's start. Our adventure in Earthbound. The year is 1990X. Unneth, a small town in Eagle Land. Ness's house. Ah, look at us just sleep. Oh, cute sound, happy, and boom, there it goes. Guess, uh, I guess we're up. So yeah, uh, we can talk to things, check things, check our status, check our equip and goods, but none of that will really do anything right now. So let's actually go through this door. And uh, one thing we can do is if we go into here, we have our uh, sister here. We can talk to her. Hey, bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Well, a little bit. But we can also check this box here to open a present. This gives us a cracked bat. Um, 
And if we go ahead and equip that, we have four equip slots. We have weapons, bodies, arms, and other. Uh, the cracked bat, well, it's a weapon. So we can put that in that slot. That should help us out a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and move out. And we're going to head downstairs. Now down here, you have your mom. Now you could talk to your mom, but you know how moms are. They're not going to let you go out with your hair all wild and your pajamas on. Dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? And I kind of want to leave with my pajamas on. So if you don't talk to your mom, you can actually leave your house with your pajamas on, which I've always thought was pretty funny. Um, now, if we try to go over here, yeah, the road are closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Yep, there's a roadblock by the police. What, meteorite who fell? I just want to, what? Go home. So yeah, you can't go past there, unfortunately. Um, because the road is blocked off. Oh, you want to be the first to see it? Well, you better try and go up there because you don't even seem remotely close. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of officers along the way. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home. Pronto. Eh, nah. Don't listen to police officers. They don't know what they're talking about. Meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and I'm hungry. I hate my job. I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry to hear that. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? No, not really. I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna keep walking here in our pajamas to the hilltop. Because I want to see the meteorite. That that sounds pretty cool to see. Hey you, don't you know what time it is? Hmm. Um, I mean, it's probably sometime in the middle of the night. And now over here we have a box. Now if I remember correctly, yeah, if you press L, you can just immediately check um, a box without going into your menu and pressing check, which is a bit of a shortcut. It helps you save a little bit of time and it also works for talking. It will automatically assume what the right action is to do. Hey Ness, hiya buddy. Meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. It was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my, uh, by the way Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know? I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you go check out my work? Hmm. Treasure Hunter. This is Lear X Exaggerate's house. Yeah, Liar Exaggerate. He's probably not the most trustworthy guy, is he? The meteor looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous. It smells mysterious. Ooh. Yep, sure sounds like it. Hey, Ness, don't be rubbernecking. You're getting into cop soups, uh, I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Am I? Clear out, get out of the way, get out of my way. Clear, clear. Whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way. Shh. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Uh, me? Friends? With that guy? No. You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Nah, you're on your own. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna sleep. It's blocked off. We can't look at the meteorite. I don't want to be around with smelly old Pokey. I'm just gonna go ahead, take my butt home, and get back into bed and sleep because I don't want to be up here with all of this stuff. I don't have time to deal with this stuff. So we're going to just simply make our short little track back home. And oh, hey, look, it's mom. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Okay, mom. Sounds like a good idea later that night. Oh, is, is that knocking? What, what, what's going on? It's still night. Do you know what's up? 
Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Yeah, it is a little annoying, isn't it? What do you think, Mom? My land! Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? Okay, I guess we'll answer it to get attacked by the stranger. Oh, it's Pokey. Hey, uh, listen to what I've got to say. When I took pictures of the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, uh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks, they're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Bestest friend? You wish, buddy. You're on your own. If you refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. Will you come with me? Give me your best. Okay, okay, I won't say anything to hurt you. Will you please come with me? He's not gonna stop bagging me, so I guess we'll just have to do it. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this pops extent. Before we go, why didn't you say goodbye to your mom? Didn't you agree, ma'am? I guess we should, huh? I know the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The crack bat in Tracy's room could help out in a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. That's probably good, huh? So yeah, here we go. We have Ness in his actual outfit. This is what we will be wearing throughout the game. No pajama mode for us. Unfortunately, that fun is over. Uh, what we can do, though, is talk to King and have him come along with us. It is definitely advisable to bring him along because, I mean, he's an extra party member. Why would you not want an extra party member, you know? Um, and you can bring Pokey or you have to, I guess. That said, he is definitely a lot less useful. Hmm, I guess the phone's ringing. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ADM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero at least. Ha 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 ha. Slam. Beep. So yeah, you save by calling your dad and the money that you get for defeating enemies goes straight into your bank account, I believe. So you need an ADM card. Now here we are. We have our first fight here. And you can see that we just entered it from normal. This is a runaway dog. Uh, we can just bash it. There's not really much of an other point to this or like other things that we can really do here. Uh, we don't really have any PSI attacks or anything. But you'll notice that Pokey will just have flavor text throughout this. Uh, just complaining, stuff like that. But King will actually attack. Now you can't control King, but he will do stuff. And we get level 2 already. Offense up by 1, maximum HP up by 3, PP up by 1. And we learn life up alpha which will well heal our hp now there's a few other enemies around so we're gonna go ahead and show them off i want to show try and show off every enemy at least once so this here is a spiteful crow now the spiteful crow um has the chance actually to wow everything just missed it pecks at her eyes for seven damage. It actually has uh, the chance to steal items from you. So you want to be careful about that because if you, if it happens, you know, he's going to steal your things and you obviously would want to keep your things. There we go. But the nice thing about the Spite for Crow is that they will always have a present with a cookie in it. And we're going to actually abuse that fact because... What I want to do is, you can see here in my inventory, we of course have the ADM card. We also have the cracked bat because your equipment will take up inventory slots. But we're going to try and fill up our entire inventory with these cookies. We're going to make sure that there's no space left. So of course we have to keep the ADM, 
ADM card and cracked bat. But the rest of my slots, I will all fill up with cookies. And there's a specific reason to do this that will come into play a little bit later, but you want to make sure you do that before you reach the meteorite. Now, if you feel like you're um, running low on health, you can just talk to your mom. She'll give you some pizza. Pokey doesn't get any. He probably stuffed enough down his face already anyway. But yeah, um, that, that's basically my plan. We're going to go ahead and try to make our way to the top um, of the of the hill that we were in. Oh, nice. We got a critical hit there. Smash. Um, and yeah, try to fill up our inventory with cookies as we go along the way. So try to fight those crows. Now, the bad thing is they can steal items from you as well. So sometimes, you know, you'll fill up a slot and then they steal it again from you which is you know gonna make things maybe take a little bit longer here and there but that's just the way it is nice we get another crit and right the other two enemies well we haven't seen one of the enemies yet that's here but uh the other enemies in this area also have a chance to drop things, but no guarantee. I think it's like 4 in 128. Uh, we can get bread rolls out of the dog, so we got pretty lucky there to get that one. Um, and uh, the other one has that chance to drop a cookie at like 4 out of 128. But since those chances are so low, I just recommend like trying to grind the items off of the uh, crows because they guarantee to drop a cookie so it just makes things a lot easier all right level three offense up by one defense up by one guts up by one vitality up by one iq up by one luck up by one and maximum hp up by 12 pp up by four sweet i like all of that now, because we want to save our items to fill up our slot, uh, I would recommend trying to use the PSI uh, life up to um, to heal yourself if needed. But of course, you can use the items as well. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't really look like we're getting too lucky. Oh, there's the last enemy that we haven't shown off yet. So let's fight that guy. This right here is the coil snake. But yeah, uh, you can actually scroll enemies off screen and they will despawn. And that way you could try and spawn in a different enemy. So if you want to fight the crows, nice, we got lucky again. Uh, if you want to fight a lot of the crows and you see a different enemy on screen, you can just literally like see there was a dog there. We scroll down, no more dog. We scroll down and sometimes new ones can spawn in. Now, since we're pretty much at the top, uh, we will have to unfortunately go back down. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut out this as I'm grinding for all of the cookies to fill up my slot. Um, I need, yeah, I need quite a bit more and it's going to take a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I recommend doing it near your house uh, just because then you can get the healing from your mom whenever needed. Nessus level is now four. Oh baby, offense went up by five. Defense went up by one. Speed up by two. Guts up by one. Luck up by one. Max HP up by one. And Ness realized the power of Hypnosis Alpha, which can put enemies to sleep, I believe. Quite nice. Okay, I'm now back at the top of the hill. This is how full my inventory is. So I have two bread rolls because I got the one from the box and then Lucky with one of the dogs and the rest are all cookies. Uh, that's how full you want it to be. Hey Ness, I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice in the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Mm, so a child's voice on the hilltop. Well, we can see a child there. So let's go ahead and save him now. Also, this is pretty interesting. Uh, I guess I haven't shown enough. I can show it off. Uh, so let's say we do life up alpha now to heal ourselves up. You can see that we now have 10 PP out of 15 max. If we walk into this little butterfly here, it made Ness re relax and then 15 PP. So if you see those butterflies, run into them and they will cure your, uh, yeah, restore your PP. If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out here, Scoops. Oh wait, no, Scoobs is the dog. 
Never mind, you guys get what I mean. What? Oh. You woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I'm, I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Geez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. So yeah. Pokey just ran away scared and that's why they got lost. Pokey and Picky. Ness, do you hear the buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Um, no. Oh, come on, you must hear it. Oh. Oh, now I hear it. Sounds like the mosquitoes that keep me up every night. A bee I am not. I'm from ten years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gygas, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The pausing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This, I believe. Gygus' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Uh, sure, little busy bee. Although you're not a bee, I guess. Thank you for listening to my story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Or not to be. Because it, it's a bee. Bee. Buzz Buzz joins you. Yep. We now have a new party member. And this. Looks like you're really in love trouble this time. Three boys he said. Uh. I'm not one of those three am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez. My heart's almost pounding right on my chest. Oh. Pokey. You wuss. Uh, now as we make our way back. You will notice that. There are no more enemies. All of the enemies have completely disappeared, so you can't... That, that's why I said, you know, before you make it to the meteorite, you want to fill your inventory, because now you don't get another chance anymore. So, yeah. If, if, if you want to do this trick, then definitely fill it up before you go to the meteorite. Plus, the reason they probably removed the enemies is, well, because Buzz Buzz is a very strong party member, and he would just make it too easy. But before we get home... It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans. But Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. And we have our very first boss fight, the Starman Jr. Here's the thing. What you do with Ness doesn't matter. Buzzmas will put on a shield to protect Ness's body, Pokey's body, Picky's body, and his own body. Uh, Picky does 1 HP of damage. Pokey does nothing. Ness can do 8 HP of damage. But none of this really matters because Buzzbuzz, yeah, 65. Every turn that Buzzbuzz attacks is so much more powerful than anyone else could ever do. Uh, yeah, the... Our psychic shields will prevent his psychic attacks from hurting us at all, but he will have to put on new shields or increase their strength, I guess. Yeah, see, even a crit only does 2 HP of damage. It, it, it's just, there's no way you're gonna really realistically do any kind of damage. You have to just rely on Buzz Buzz, who you can't control, to do the bulk of the damage here. So, we're gonna set on auto fight. This will basically just do fighting for you. And 
yeah, it basically makes it so you don't have to input the commands. If you just want to grind and you know you're already way stronger anyway, then this is a pretty useful trick because, uh, yeah, you don't have to input your buttons all the time. But we gained 16 experience, not enough for a level up, but that's okay. Ryu, I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so he can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be finding enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They will definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent, as we've seen, due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Well, I guess we'll have to go ahead and go here because uh, this is where Pokey lives. And we had to bring him home. So, let's see. Ah, that's their dad. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. But we are really going to get it now. And the kids run upstairs and the dad runs after them. And yeah, he's using the fighting sound effects, so you can guess what happened there. By the way, I'd be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of low, my family and I now live in poverty. Well, maybe you shouldn't have loaned money you couldn't afford to loan out. My husband is way too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Eee! I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. And the thing that the Starman Jr. from 10 years in the future couldn't defeat gets hit down by Pokey's mom. She is the real enemy of this world. Ugh. <sighs> I was much weaker than I thought, so you must now begin your adventure. See, you... Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onnet. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yep, Buzz Buzz, got it. Go to Giant Step. All right, you are a very intelligent young man and oh, the pain, everything is getting dark. Uh, uh, before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the soundstone. You can record the melodies from your eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I am almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No, thank you. I'm good. Good. What the? It seems that you have too many things to carry already. Since you can't take it, I'll give it to your sister. And this is why you want to fill your inventory with cookies. The soundstone is kind of a key item. Um, it doesn't actually do anything in battle pretty much ever, as far as I recall. Um, and by having your inventory full before you reach this scene, it will get sent to your sister who can hold on to any kind of items for you. Um, and this way, you can still have the story purpose of the soundstone without it taking up one of your inventory slots um, so it really is helpful in that regard, you know, you can basically just save an inventory slot that you can now use for a healing item or something. That's why I like to use this trick because I really feel that the soundstone should have just been a key item, but Earthbound doesn't have separate key items. That's one of the few things that Mother 3 does better than Earthbound. Uh, there are others that I'll talk about as we go play through the game, but there are key items are actually separated so they don't take up regular inventory slots and I think that's how it should have been that's why I don't mind abusing this little trick uh, to fill your inventory so you don't have to carry the sounds on with you throughout the game in the blink of an eye like magic she'll have it yeah it's already dawn outside but it doesn't matter to me I'm fading fast and he's gone yep that's all Buzz Buzz will do. 
But it is indeed dawn right now. The dawn of a new adventure. But before we truly get started on our adventure, we'll make a quick trip back home, but well, right before you can walk into your house, a picture is taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say... Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Now there's a bunch of these spots in the game where that guy will take a photo of you and I think they show up like during the credits or something. I'll try and get all of those. No guarantees though that I will. Now, because it's pretty much time to end of the episode, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and talk and you will have a list of all the contacts that you can talk to. Uh, we only have one, which is our dad. Ness, it's your dad. I deposited $94 into your bank account. Nice, we got a good bit of extra cash there. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have $124 in the bank. Experience to get the next level? Well, Ness, 36. Anyway, what do you need from me? Uh, well, I want to record. Uh, that will save our game here. Your old dad was also thinking about heading to Hayford night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night, sleep tight. And you can end, that will uh, basically quit, allow you to quit playing, or you can do continue. Either or, it doesn't really matter. Unless you like to work hard, just like your mother. But you don't think it's good to work too hard. And yeah, there we go. That is going to be it for this first episode of Earthbound. I'm quite excited to bring you guys along in this adventure. If you want to follow along, you can subscribe to my channel so you get updated whenever new videos go out. And leaving likes and comments is always very much appreciated. Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, that will do it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next episode of Earthbound.